Boy, the Thunder looking like they're not messing around tonight. They had a little bit of an edge to them as they got off the bus earlier. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their rotation. Missing a valued contributor. That can be a challenge. Now, we'll see how they overcome it. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. In at forward, it's Dordan Williams. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddey. And it's Holmgren in at the five spot. And for the Pelicans, the backcourt, McCullum and Jones. Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. And it's Balanchunas in at the center position, locking down the middle. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And, you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? It'll be the Thunder off the tip. Jones against Giddy. Just five on the clock. Screen by Holmgren. Here's the three. And the big finish by Holmgren. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. Now Gilgis Alexander. Williams, a screen on Jones. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Free throw, good from Ingram. A natural score. Every single year, Ingram seems to take another leap in his game. Both free throws good from Ingram. Despite missing the playoffs in 2023, the future still looks bright for OKC doors. B.A., I don't know how you could not be impressed with what they did. They're accomplished in the regular season well beyond what the expectation was. So many people dismissed them at the start. What a bright, young core they have. And here's Williamson. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Four-point game. Pass to Valentunas. Ingram with the ball. Pulls up. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Williams passes to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. And there's Gilgis Alexander on the assist from Giddy. That's just concentration from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy's accustomed to big-time defense. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Back to Jones. Williamson outside. And here's Ingram outside. Oh, my goodness! Good. You'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. Good. Hit. Lou Dort Shooting picks one, one up. Defensive foul. 
All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area, and so far the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. That free throw, good from Ingram. Grant with the Pelicans, so many of the past few years have started with such high hopes. Yeah, B.A., and at the end of every season, it feels like there's a big what-if hanging over New Orleans. They haven't been able to catch many breaks in recent years. Now here's Holmgren. Pass to Williams. Fires the three. Rebounded by Ingram. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Jones against Giddy. And here's Valanciunas. Out to McCullum. Three-pointer. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted. And Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Now here's Williams. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Giddy. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. Six on the shot clock. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. No good on the three. Oklahoma City trailing. Up top, Giddy. Defended by Jones. Gort's shot is good. Well, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. New Orleans has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to McCollum. Back to Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Yep, count it. Uh, this guy came over from Lithuania with an ability to play pick and roll basketball, and he's only gotten better during his time in the NBA. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Now Holmgren. Jacks up a three. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Holmgren's got seven points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's McCollum. Pass to Valanchunas. Jones from outside. Another shot. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Jones. That one goes in. Oklahoma City has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Williams with it. He's picked up by Jones. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Dort. Out to the right wing. Shoots. McCollum pulls it in. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Ingram. He's got six. And another basket for New Orleans. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And the Thunder making a change here. Wiggins has checked in. Now here's McCollum. And he converts the layup. He's got five. Oh, what a tricky shot. CJ, he's showing off now. 
Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar, simply stated. I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams, the ability offensively to attack at three levels, and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor. This guy is something special. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Now here's McCollum. Five points in the game. Here's Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. You know, at the offensive end, McCollum does a little of everything for you. I mean, that was a great pass. And here's Giddy. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. His first shot attempt. And the shot goes down. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Williamson outside. Pass to Valanchunas. To the paint. Here's Ingram. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Yeah, Ingram is having a great night so far, playing passionate offense and finding lots of quality looks. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Up and over McCullum. Gilgis Alexander no good. New Orleans in the lead. McCullum outside. Williamson with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. The baseline, Jay. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. with a screen on Ingram. Wiggins. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. Here's McCollum. Count it. Good. McCollum's got seven points. Yeah, this is the skillfulness of McCollum. Put contact on him and he'll still get it to go. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. First one falls. What's been amazing to watch is Shea Gilgis Alexander going from good player to now putting his name at the very top of the list in terms of great guards in the league. The Pelicans making a switch here. Alvarado's checked in. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Hayward against Ingram. Pass to Williamson. Shoots over Wiggins. That's good from Williamson on the assist by Ingram. Excellent work inside from Williamson. This is why he's so aggressive down there. Williams with it. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. He's got seven. Now Hayward. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Williams with the screen. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. That one falls. Well, just good recognition in the pick and roll. Gilgis Alexander reacting to the defense perfectly. Here's Ingram. 12 points for him. Inside. Here's Valanciunas. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. 
Ingram's got three assists in the game. Well, Jonas Valanciunas is showing good hands and finishing ability inside. And this guy on that end of the floor has always been effective. Now here's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got nine. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Pass to Williamson. Williamson is doubled. Here's Ingram. Let's go with a three. Williams grabs the board. Here's Wallace. Yet to see a basket. Hayward with it. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Ingram from deep. Hayward. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Well, this is why it's important that Gordon Hayward continue to space the floor. When he's hitting from distance, boy, it unlocks every aspect of his game. Now here's Williamson. Alvarado outside. Back to Williamson. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. 124 left to play in the first. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I love when Shea does not just settle for a layup. Finish with authority. What a pretty dunk. Valanchunas with a screen on Hayward to stop the run. Yes, on the jumper. He's got 14. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 11. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Thirteen foul. Oklahoma City, Williams, at the line for two. The first free throw is good. on that one so he goes one out of two at the line the Pelicans trail down low here's Marshall perfect pass to set up the lay-in there is an imagination of creativity this guy's passing drives the offense Wallace the pass to Williams here's Wallace pass to Gilgis Alexander the bucket counts and he is on his way to the line he'll try to make it a three-point play New Orleans making some changes Ingram's checked in for Marshall and Alvarado's subbed in for CJ McCollum Free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Ingram. Nice move. And it's good on the layup. Ingram's got 16 points now. It's hard trying to match up with Ingram, especially when he's looking to score inside. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Not a lot of room. Now Williams. No good with a layup. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Scoring, passing, imposing his will at the offensive end. Time for a quick break, then back to the action.
And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? It's all about the strong inside-out game in the first period. It really helped them get some clean looks down low. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. Larry Nance is out there with Najee Marshall. Then there's Trey Murphy. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Hawkins in at the two-guard spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Well, pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy can score it, but make sure you're lifting up the guys around you. And the Pelicans with possession here. After the basket by Oklahoma City. And it's good. Two points. Nine points in the game. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. CJ McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Allie. Williams finds Hayward. Here's Wallace. Hayward outside. Williams with the screen. Four on the clock. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Well, Gordon Hayward answering back with a big-time three of his own. Pass to Marshall. From behind the arc. And another three for New Orleans. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Taking pride and making plays. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 14. And again, it's Oklahoma City. This guy is an absolute scorer from anywhere on the floor. Shea Gilgis-Alexander doing work in the mid-range. Nance outside. McCullum outside. Pass to Marshall. Nance in the post. Williams defending. Sinks it from distance. Hawkins has got six. It always helps to have a big who is willing to find open teammates. Larry Nance proving how unselfish he can be. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Wiggins outside. 4-3. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. You do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. Marshall can't hit. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. Wiggins with a screen on McCullum. Gilgis Alexander passes to Wiggins. And he slams it in one-handed. Shea Gilgis Alexander can score it, so you have to respect it. That sets up his passing game. What a pretty delivery. Here's Marshall. Pass to Nance. Three pointer. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. The Thunder have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Gilgis Alexander passes to Wallace. Almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Taking it inside, SGA. Yeah, Shea Gilgis Alexander has now emerged into a superstar. And on nights like this, guys, he's unstoppable. A late second round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing. And everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalized.
And that one misses. Thunder with a lead. Shoots from 14. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. Yeah, Josh Giddy taking the in-between game because that's what the defense conceded. Left side Ingram. It's tipped. Here's Joe, covered by Ingram. Gilgis Alexander against Jones. Outside, Williams. Holmgren with a screen on McCollum. Giddy passes to Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. Yeah, the defense making it way too easy for Holmgren. Got to push him farther out than this. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. McCollum, the pass to Nance. Back to McCollum. Pass to Jones. Launches it. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Gilgis Alexander passes to Joe. Gilgis Alexander with the balls. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. Quick trigger there by SGA. I'll tell you, on the catch, be ready to rise and fire. Outside Jones. And again, no good by New Orleans. And that's as good a look as he's going to get. He's just got to shake that one off and keep it moving. The three from Holmgren. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got seven assists in the game. And the Pelicans call time here. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. And the Pelicans making a change here. Williamson's checked in. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Lou Dort comes in for Joe. Substitution on the court. McCullum looks around. Back to Jones. They need this. He buries it from three. Jones has got five. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Gilchis Alexander. Again, Oklahoma City. It's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Outside Jones. From nine feet. Dort grabs the miss. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Outside, Williams. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. Giddy's got his fifth assist in this one. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. Now here's Ingram. He's got 16. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Alvarado comes in for McCullum. Second team foul. At the line for New Orleans, Brandon Ingram. One shot. That free throw, good from Ingram. Here's Wallace. 
No points yet. Outside, Williams. Screen by Holmgren. Puts it up from 12. That one a little long. New Orleans has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Pass to Marshall. Now Ingram. Williamson with it. He's covered by Holmgren. Alvarado outside. Takes a three. Wallace pulls it in. Oklahoma City has gone 4 of 4 from three-point land in the second quarter. Giddy passes to Wallace. Outside Giddy. Five to shoot. Dort against Ingram. The shot by Dort, no good. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now here's Williamson. Jones from outside. Oh, he drains the three, and Shots he'll good. go to the line for one more. Shots Lou good. Dort picks one up. Joe's checked in for Dort. They've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Wallace, the pass to Giddy. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Outside Ingram. Pass to Williamson. Over Holmgren. And no good trying to use the glass. Thunder with a lead. Now here's Williams. Outside Giddy. Here's Wallace. There's the three. Rebounded by Marshall. New Orleans has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. And he's going for the lob. And Williamson throws it down. You know, coach gets mad when Williamson gets hit and there's no whistle. And it happens a lot. Now Kitty. Tipped away. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Kitty. Some changes for New Orleans. Jonas Valanciunas comes in for Marshall. And it's McCollum in for Alvarado. C.J. McCollum. The Pelicans trail. McCollum outside. Pass to Valanciunas. Holmgren against Ingram. Holmgren with the block. Wow, I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. The Thunder making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. Thunder on D. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. McCollum with it. Shot clock at five. Connects from downtown. McCollum's got 12 points. <laughs> with confidence and ability from long range, I love it. McCollum's able to space the floor and keep the defense honest. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City.
151 left to play in the second quarter. Williams passes to Joe. Hayward outside. Six to shoot. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. Now here's Williams. Hayward finds Kitty, and here's Holmgren. Valanchunas covering to get back on track. And it's Holmgren with the bucket inside. 14 points for him. Yeah, Holmgren meets some resistance there inside, but he stays strong and gets right through it. On the wing, Jones. He's got nine for three. McCullum. Williams grabs the board. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Giddy. Now Hayward. Here's Joe. Back to Hayward. Williams with the screen. Fires from deep. Hayward's shot is off. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Left side Jones. 15 seconds left in the first half. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Good from Jones. And the Thunder making a change here. Jones hits them both. And here's Holmgren. He's got 14. Shoots over Valanciunas. And it's Holmgren missing. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Continued to rack up points in that quarter. His total for the night to 23. We'll be right back after this word. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And on the floor for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the small forward position. Gilgis Alexander with a ball. Holmgren with a screen on McCullum. Gets the bucket and the foul! That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander shows you he's not afraid to draw contact now. Gets to the free throw line. Shea Gilgis Alexander at the line for one.
that free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Here's Ingram. To the inside. Here's Valanciunas. Second shot opportunity. And that's two points on the layup. Valanciunas has got six. Well, I think this is something Jonas Valanciunas has hung his hat on. His ability to consistently get to the offensive window. Nicely done. Now here's Dort. Holmgren with a screen on Ingram. Dort, the pass to Holmgren. That one's good for two. He's got 16. And we're seeing the full potential of Holmgren. Any questions about whether he's NBA ready are being answered right here tonight. What's something that stuck out to you about Lou Dort's game, Doris? I guess the first thing that pops from EBA is how hard he plays the game, how willing he is nightly on the defensive end of the floor to take on the opponent's best scorer, to not get down in the dumps when he's scored upon, and to bring the same effort no matter who he's playing and no matter what he's up against. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Brian? Yeah, chemistry and leadership. They have it. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Giddy. Clock at four. Shoots over Valanciunas. And that one's good. Giddy. And the Thunder lead by seven. Well, you call for a screen, you find the window, and you execute pick and roll action. That is Josh Giddy at his best. McCullum pass to Valanciunas. That's it. Coming off an assist from McCollum. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over McCollum. Gilgis Alexander no good. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. Trailing by five. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First free throw is good. hits them both well we're into the third quarter just over two and a half minutes played takes a 13 footer and the rebound goes to the Pelicans Valanchunas has got his fifth rebound in this one Valanchunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander McCollum finds Valanchunas hey in six attempts he's made five talk about efficiency well, how about you get a look at the range of Jonas Valanciunas? Gets his done with his back to the basket, or in that case, the mid-range jumper. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 26 points for him. Williams, a screen on McCullum. Shot clock at six. Williams passes to Holmgren. Got it. Good job in the low post. Holmgren's got 18. It's so difficult to defend Holmgren inside. For such a young player, his body control and awareness are off the charts. Now here's McCullum. 12 points for him. And the shot goes. He's got 14. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end. And that is why his number gets called time and time again. Giddy passes to Holmgren. Now Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on McCullum. Gilgis Alexander into the lane. The burst of speed from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Put it on the deck. Get to the cup. Alan Chunas with a screen on Dort. And stolen by Holmgren. Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Oklahoma City. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
going to be on Brandon Ingram. Eh, good whistle there. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. They feel like they have an advantage inside. And so far, they have done an excellent job exploiting it. Also, I just love how hard they've taken the ball to the rack. They've made a point of attacking, and it's led to them getting buckets. That free throw good from Holmgren. Yeah, many believe Holmgren must add muscle over time to his wire reframe. We'll see if he focuses on doing just that. Free throws good from Holmgren. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Dort against Ingram. Over Dort. The shot by Ingram, no good. For Oklahoma City, they've gone six for nine in the half. Dort against Jones. Dort's shot is good. And the Thunder lead by seven. That's a tremendous contest from the defender, but Lou Dort just better than that. Pass to McCullum. Takes the three. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside, Williams. Driving in. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Dort, covered by Ingram. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And you know, when you have the size and skill of a guy like Chet Holmgren, you're going to draw fouls. Chet Holmgren. Two shots. Free throw good from Holmgren. I think for a guy like Chet Holmgren, it's about staying healthy. He has the size and skill and the mentality to be successful. Nance, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. That one misses. The Pelicans trail. Ingram up top. Williams defending. Nance outside. Williamson against Hayward. Pass to Ingram. Five on the clock. Nance with the screen on Williams. Here's Ingram. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Well, just a tremendous job pursuing the basketball by Larry Nance Jr. and then gets the score to complement the board. Now here's Giddy. He's got six. Screen by Holmgren. Williams passes to Holmgren. Here's Jones. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Giddy. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. At the line for New Orleans, Herbert Jones. And he makes a first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he's got 28 now. Pass to Holmgren. Now Giddy, defended by Jones. Williams from long range. Knocks down the long J. Williams has got five points in the quarter. Since the break, it feels like an entirely new game. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. Now here's Williamson. There's McCullough with the three. 
That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Williams finds Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on McCollum. Yes! And the foul! It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. Yeah, teams will try to get physical with SGA, but make sure you understand that wiry frame is big time strong. The Pelicans making a switch here. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Four-point game. Nance the screen. Ingram, the pass to Nance. Again, the Pelicans. Good for two. Larry Nance Jr. in a catch-and-shoot situation. That's not easy to guard. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Williams, a screen on McCollum. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. He's picked up by Williamson. Williams passes to Giddy. Tries to keep it alive. Gilgis Alexander up top. Fires for three. And it's Giddy missing. New Orleans has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Williamson. Here's Hawkins. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Boy, not on the same page there. And the possession ball game, that's a big mistake. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebounded by New Orleans. Nance has got rebound number seven tonight. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. Nance with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's McCollum. That one's good. This game is all even. McCollum's got 10 points in just the second half. Yeah, McCollum excels at everything on the court. And man, he is putting on a show. Here's Giddy. Six points for him. To the middle. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the quarter. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Outside Giddy. Takes one from 10 feet. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Now here's Williams. He's got nine. Buries it from three. Williams has got 12. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the timeout, offensive timeout. player. You've got to want to work. New Orleans calls timeout. The Thunder making a switch here. Here's McCollum. He's closely guarded. Inside. To the wing on the left. Here's Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. And giving them what they want. The incredible dunking ability of Zion on full display. To the inside. And Williams punches it home. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Williamson outside. 
Nance outside. Pass to Williamson. Over Williams. Williamson misses. Thunder with a lead. 149 left in the third. Williams with the screen. Here's Hayward. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Hayward. Seven points in the game. I think Gordon Hayward's height and length makes him a difficult cover. In the pick and roll, this guy is superb at slicing passes through the defense. Williamson with a screen on Hayward. Back to McCollum. Beyond the arc. Drills it from deep. McCollum's got 15 points in just the second half. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Now here's Williams. He's got seven to the paint. And stolen by Williamson. Lays it up and in despite excellent defense. And that'll tie this game up. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Here's Hayward. Give him eight points now. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. After signing a huge deal with Boston in 2017, Gordon Hayward had that terrible leg injury. It's amazing, B.A., how quickly the trajectory of a career can change. It took Gordon Hayward a full year of rehabilitation after what was a gruesome injury. But I admire the work and commitment it took to get back, and now he is rebuilding and contributing to winning again. He misses the free throw. What a package Gordon Hayward brings to the table. Size, athleticism, high IQ for the game of basketball. You can count on his decision-making at both ends. I just love his game. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Jones comes in for Zion Williamson. Second free throw is good. It should be a two-point lead, but they'll be satisfied to have edged into the lead. Outside Jones. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Oklahoma City has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Wallace. Outside, Williams. Back to Williams. Uneasy, two on the layup. Williams has got six here in the quarter. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. And it's McCollum penetrating. There's the triple. Can't get it to drop. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Thunder. He put together 10 points in the quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Najee Marshall is out there with Trey Murphy. And it's Hawkins in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Now here's Jones. There's the screen by Marshall. Here's Hawkins. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That went on Biombo. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And 
and he knocks down the first one. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. It's both from the stripe. And the Thunder shooting the ball with purpose. They're 68% from the field. Here's Wallace. Defended by Jones. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it. Not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Knocks it loose. Out of bounds with the Oklahoma City's ball. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. The Pelicans trail. Outside Jones. Down low. Here's Marshall, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. They've led by as many as 14. Jones against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Joe. Off target with the three. After having trailed for a while, they could retake the lead. Nice effort to battle back and put themselves in this position. Gilgis Alexander passes to Wallace. Got a hand on it. Pass to Marshall to take the lead. Some solid defense from Williams. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Here's Wallace. Wiggins outside. To the middle. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he makes it on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points in just the second half. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Now Ingram. To the paint. Marshall inside. Working on Williams. Clock at six. Pass to Hawkins. And here's Ingram. To tie it up. Getting it to fall there. He's 8 of 15 in the game. Had to rush it, but Ingram calm and cool delivers. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And it's blocked. To the right side. The three. Drains the triple. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by three. Here's Hawkins. Gilgis Alexander defending. The 11-footer. A nice shot by Hawkins. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Shoot from the baseline. And he drops that one in. Gilgis Alexander's got 37. The Pelicans have gone 2 of 3 to open the fourth quarter. Ingram, the pass to Marshall, to the inside. Jones misses from short range. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. 
Here's Wallace. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins outside. Launches a three. Rebounded by Marshall. Marshall's got four rebounds in the game. Now Ingram. The rebound by Wiggins. Oklahoma City has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Pulls it. Yes! He nails it! Now it's a five-point Thunder lead. The Pelicans shooting around 59%. They've been outstanding on the offensive end. Marshall with the bucket. Marshall's got four points in the quarter. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Here's Wallace, defended by Jones. Here's Gilgis Alexander, right wing. Wiggins from long range, nails it from three. And the Thunder lead by six. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Jones with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Hawkins. And another one falls for New Orleans. With defense that soft, you have to take them to task. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins outside. Joe, the pass to Wiggins. Let's it go from deep. Wallace's shot is good. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. New Orleans calls timeout. A big group substitution here for Oklahoma City. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. The Pelicans have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Williamson. McCullum with it. Fires the three. The Thunder with the rebound. Giddy's got five rebounds tonight. Up top, Holmgren. Giddy against McCullum. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. Pelicans shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Here's McCollum, and it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Gilgis Alexander double teamed. Holmgren, the pass to Hayward. Here's Holmgren, just five to shoot. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? New Orleans has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's McCollum. And he drew the blocking foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Third team foul. Thunder foul. Williams. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, CJ McCollum. And he drops the first. A late bloomer. CJ McCollum's career has been fun to watch unfold. And I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. Dort, he's checked in for Hayward. McCullum drops them both. And here are the Thunder now. Outside Giddy. Gilgis Alexander. A screen on Jones. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pelicans. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. 
And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. Eight-point game. Valanchunas sets a screen. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. An excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. Inside. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. To the paint. And Valanchunas gets it to go on the assist by Ingram. Ingram's got assist number eight here already in the game. Pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. And here's Dort. Drives to the hoop. Now here's Giddy. Jones with the block. Over Dort. Jones misses. Oklahoma City has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Gilgis Alexander double team. Some room here for Dort. The Pelicans pull it in. And here's McCollum. Pass to Jones. The three. Williams grabs the board. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Jones against Dort. Outside, Williams. Here's Holmgren. The three ball. Pelicans cleared away. Jones has got six rebounds now in the game. Ingram with the ball. Over Williams. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 24 points. And this guy is just a gamer. Ingram doesn't feel pressure. He embraces the moment, taking and making important shots. They get it back. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. McCullum on the wing. He'll just Alexander defending. They double team McCullum. Left side Ingram. Shot clock at six. Over Dort. And that one's good. Ingram. And now it's just a two-point Thunder lead. The versatile nature of Ingram's shooting can be tough to counter. Even the mid-range is a good option for him. Gilgis Alexander. A screen on Jones. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Outside. Williams. Pure from three-point range. Williams has got 11 points here in the second half. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Now here's Ingram. From about 19. And another one falls for New Orleans. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Here's Gilgis Alexander. After the Pelicans pick it up a basket a moment ago. Strong take from Gilgis Alexander. SGA. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander to you. Big time clutch delivery. Now here's Ingram. Sixteen left in the fourth quarter. The shot won't fall. Good work defensively by Dort. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. And here's Dort. Outside, Williams. Giddy finds Williams.
There's 45 seconds left in the final quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. First team foul. Ingram with the double team. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. One on the clock. That's good from Giddy. On the assist by Gilgis Alexander. And now it's a seven-point Thunder lead. And the Pelicans call time here. They're down by seven. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Guys, your thoughts? It's hard to say whether they have enough time for a quick shot and a foul. There's 37 seconds left in the game. Now Ingram. Ingram, double team. Here's Valanciunas. The layup off target. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 14. Thunder take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.